Hello everyone, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. Thank you for joining me today for a five minute overview of ball activated completion systems. So we'll start with our horizontal well diagram. Our well is already drilled, our completion system is in the well. And there are two primary components to this type of system. That's your open hole packer, which provides isolation, and your ball activated frack sleeves, which will divert your frack fluid to each individual section of the well. Now a secondary component to consider is your casing packer. Uh, it's very flexible as what you can use here as long as you have it can withstand the temperatures, pressures, and the weight of the completion below it. Uh, you can use whichever type of packer makes sense for you. Before we move on I want to look at some of the basic terminology of horizontal wells. So imagine a horizontal well as a foot where the curve of the well is the heel and the end of the well is the toe. Uh, each individual isolated section of the well is called a stage. So your first stage will be at the toe of the well and second stage moving up towards the heel. Now there's two primary types of open hole packers. The first one we'll look at are fluid activated packers. So once you've uh, got this completion system to the intended depth, you pump your activation fluid through your casing into the annulus of the well. Once you've completed that, you'll set your casing packer and once you've pressure tested you can move your drilling rig off of location and wait for the frack crew to start the uh, fracturing. Now give, a, give the packers enough time and these fluid activated packers will swell and that'll provide your isolation in your open hole. Once you're ready to begin your first stage frack job your pressure pumping crew arrives on location they drop a ball into the well and pump it down to the first stage frack sleeve. That will open the frack sleeve and you can begin your first stage frack job. The other type of packer used in this application is hydraulic set packers. Now with this type of packer you'll always see one additional tool at the toe of the well and that's some sort of isolation tool. So once you've got this system to the intended depth you drop the first ball in the system, pump it down to the isolation tool and applying pressure will set your isolation tool and give you a point to pressure up against. So you apply pressure against your isolation tool and that will set your casing packer. Increasing your pressure will set your open hole hydraulic set packers and at that point you can pressure test and move your drilling rig off of location. Now once your frack crews get on location they rig up to the well, they apply enough pressure and that will open your pressure activated frack sleeve. Once your sleeve is open you can begin your first stage frack job. Now, whichever type of packer you use, once you've fractured that first stage, the process is exactly the same. So we'll zoom into the second stage frack sleeve and we'll look at a cutout of the frack sleeve. So you've got a ball seat uh, in the frack sleeve and as you're pumping your first stage frack job, it goes through the, the frack sleeve, through the ball seat and into that first stage. Now as you're approaching the, the end of the first stage frack job, you drop a ball that corresponds to that second sleeve in the well bore. It opens the sleeve and forces the second stage frack through the ports of the sleeve and into the second stage. Now moving up hole, we'll get to the third stage uh, frack sleeve. And as you're finishing your frack job for the second stage, you'll drop the ball that corresponds to the third stage frack sleeve. It'll land on seat, isolate, force the frack fluid for the third stage out of the frack sleeve and you begin your third stage fracture. Now it's a little bit difficult to tell in the animation but it's very important to note that each of these balls are a little bit different size. So the smallest ball of the system will be at the toe of the well for the first stage and the largest ball of the system will be at the heel uh, for however many stages you have in the well bore. So each of them get incrementally larger as you move up the well bore. Now at this point you're just repeating the process. You'll drop the ball that corresponds to the fourth stage frack sleeve into the well bore, pump it down to the fourth stage frack sleeve, open the sleeve and begin the, that stage frack job. Drop the ball that corresponds to the fifth stage frack sleeve, pump it down to that sleeve, open the sleeve and begin your frack job. And now this illustrates the primary benefit of this type of completion system. You never actually have to shut down your pressure pump and cruise uh, while you're performing your hydraulic fracture. 
and you're just going to repeat this process until all of your frac sleeves are open and fractured through for this well. Once you're ready to put the well on production, you're actually going to produce through these frac sleeves as well. So you've created your fracture, and that's going to be what your hydrocarbon flows through. So it'll flow through your fractures back into the ports of the frac sleeve, and that's how you produce your well. Now the balls will still be on seat when you begin your uh, production, so the production from below that stage will actually push the ball off seat and remove it from the well bore so that you can produce through the sleeve. However, you do still have a diameter restriction through that ball seat as you can see. So if that diameter is an issue, these are designed to be milled out of the well. So you can go in, mill out that ball seat, and have a full production diameter uh, in the well. So that's the, over, the five minute overview of ball activated completion systems. Uh, once again, thank you for joining me. This is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. If you have any questions about this module, please feel free to reach out to me at the email I provided or reach out to me on social media on LinkedIn or Facebook. Um, also, uh, tune into our social media pages to keep in touch with future video modules. And uh, thanks again for joining. Have a great day.